Hey, good morning. I'd like to uh, welcome everybody here uh, to a really special event today that uh, I have the pleasure of uh, moderating and meeting. Uh, today I have my friend with me, Sahana Sakar, a uh, fellow employee and buddy, um, who we just happened to have a chance meeting, and that's why we're here today. Um, and I'll tell you the story. Uh, first off, my name is Sheldon Fung, before I forget that. I'm an assistant chief here with Cal OES Law Branch. Um, and we work together here mm -hmm. on the SOC floor, uh, probably in the month of August where we kind of met and to tell this story. We were doing 80 hour weeks, yep. 80 hour weeks, um, working long hours every single day. And so one of the things we get here at OES is we get fed our lunch and our dinner because we live here. Um, when you're working so many hours. So I was having my usual dinner out on the uh, beautiful veranda, our, our uh, little space out there. And I was just standing and eating my meal when this lovely lady came up to me and started talking <laughs> and said, um, hey, Sheldon, I, I got in a really bad accident in January of 2019. 2019 right. Okay, January 2019. And I said, oh, really, where? And she said, the place, and I said, I live right there. And I said, I remember this accident because I heard it and I got on the police uh, radio and checked and find out if there's anything I could do to help, but there was nothing I could do. Um, and then she uh, told me a story of what happened. So with that, I'll let Sahana uh, give her story. Yeah, I mean, Sheldon's always there. So I came to bug him a little bit. You know, when does he not need bugging? But in terms of the the accident itself, I personally don't remember a lot of it. I know that I was going to work at the ER at the time, 9 a.m. shift, it was raining a lot. Raining cats and dogs. Um, I was going, and the last thing I remember is, actually it's just the rain, that's all I remember. And then I woke up a couple of late, days later, uh -huh. didn't know what was happening. I thought I was in Hawaii, but then I opened my eyes and I wasn't in Hawaii. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, different scene. Um, I woke up and there was a nurse telling me, don't try to talk. And then I had no idea what was going on until they explained to me you were in an accident. And that's how it all started. That's how it all started. It all started. I think you told me a little bit more what happened. I, I think you said, hey, I died. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, that's that a little was, fact that, that she forgot to mention is that I died and I said, <laughs> I'm alive now. Um, I mean, the fun facts, I guess, would be that they're not really sure how I was projected from the car. It's not that I was projected. I might have jumped. They're not 100% sure. Uh -huh. um, but the officers did find me and one officer um, was traveling near there with her daughters. And she had seen the car crash, and the other one that had pulled over at first was um, Deputy Seiko. And uh -huh. he was driving behind me, so he pulled over, was looking for me after the crash, and he couldn't find me. But when he did, a couple of feet away, um, he said I didn't have a pulse. And now I'm learning all of this from police reports and from what I was told you know, by my parents later on that this is what had happened, because I don't remember any of it. Right. Um, but the two of them worked for five to six minutes. They did CPR to bring me back. And I guess I came back with a vengeance. Here I am. And here you are today. <laughs> here yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a great story of, you know, when you told it to me of how I died and came back to yeah. life because these people basically saved my life. And without them, you wouldn't be here today, essentially. Right. And the story kind of came to be because, um, you know, we see a lot of things on the media and you and I kind of talked about how the media sensationalizes a lot of things. But I was saying, I think officers need to get a little more recognition and this is my experience with officers. Yeah. I've personally never had a bad experience even when I've gotten traffic tickets, <laughs> I'll own up to them. Um, she never got a ticket, mom. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, but I've never been treated poorly, and that's kind of where this conversation stemmed from. I was telling Sheldon that I only have good stories to tell, and the best one is I was saved yeah. by two of them. And that's a great story, because yeah. in law enforcement, I've been doing this for 25 years, we don't have enough positive reinforcement about the things we try to do, especially in today's world. And hearing your story 
made me my eyes perspire a little bit. Perspire. So um, you know, and it was a great story. And, and so, what else did you want? Um, oh, to recognize that I had a lot of Bath and Body products in my <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But I yes. really just wanted to say thank you to the two officers because not only did they save my life, they were both off duty. One was, I believe, enjoying family time with her daughters, mm -hmm. and the other one, uh, Deputy Jay Seiko, I'm not sure, but he was alone but also off duty mm -hmm. and, you know, probably going to family events as well. It was a Sunday, so Sunday 9 a.m. Um, but I just really wanted to say thank you. It took me some time to, you know, go through physical therapy and then emotionally connect with what had happened. And then also my family was a really big part in this. With all their support, I was able to do all of the things I was told I might not be able to do anymore in terms of physical abilities. Wow. Um, I'm a lot of metal at the moment, <laughs> but so <am> I. yeah, <laughs> but you know, with my family support and my community too. Um, I was able to, I guess, feel better. Uh -huh. And then by the time I wanted to connect with these officers to say thank you, COVID had become a real thing um, in our community. So I couldn't reach out to them. And then that's where Sheldon comes into play. How, how long were you in the hospital? I, so for my memory recollection, I thought it was only a couple of weeks, but uh -huh. um, my family filled me in. It was almost a month and a half, almost two months. Oh. And I'll two rephrase months. that question. How yeah. long did you think you were in Hawaii? Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. You know, that is a really <laughs> weird recollection that I have because I don't know how I ended up in Hawaii yeah. because that's just where I happened to be. And I just remember it was warm. It was really bright. And wow. some, yeah, it that's was great. really nice. And someone had asked me, do you want to keep napping or do you want to take a walk? Wow. And that's when I had woken up is because I decided I'm done napping. Wow. That's, that's, um, wow. that's the, that's the story. And my dad was there for, to, to witness that me wow. waking up to that. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It was, so then you, you, you asked me to do something for you. Yeah. I asked you to look into it and I was like, Sheldon, you're the big police chief guy. <laughs> um, would you mind finding these officers for me? Because I would love to say thank you yeah. in any form or way. And then Sheldon had the idea that we could, you know, get PIO involved and say thank you to them because how often do we say thank you to police officers? I feel like it should be way more often. Um, By the way, it wasn't yeah. my idea. No. <laughs> uh, it was hers, not mine. So I just said, if you want to low-key, we can low-key this. So that's okay. It's, it's all about what's in the heart, right? Right. And how you and, wanted to do it. And I consulted my yeah. family, too, to see if they were okay with it and how they felt about it. Uh -huh. um, my parents are part of an Indian organization called Onkur, and they also wanted to be involved. So we'll be giving them a little thank you from our community as well. well that's fantastic. Yeah. Because okay. they help our community. Law enforcement okay. is always present, helping us with all of our events. So okay, great. Just a big thank you, specifically to my two angels, but, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you ready to meet your friends? Yes. <laughs> and future best friends? Yes. Family, mom, dad, you're ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I think it's time to bring in our friends. Hello. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi. This is Jay. Psycho, Seiko, sorry. Oh my God. This is Jennifer McHugh. Good to meet you. <laughs> oh my, oh my <laughs> gosh. I, it's so good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You're so yeah. happy you're okay. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> if you guys want to have a seat, and I'll make sure my eyes don't perspire. <laughs> um, but thanks, thanks for coming. Um, we just told the story of uh, what happened to a point in time when she got an accident and what happened in the aftermath. And uh, we don't know what happened right prior to the accident and then after. So would you mind filling in the story of uh, the rest of how this happened? Yeah, um, it's, really, it's really cool to kind of see from your perspective too what was going on. Um, Definitely, um, 
you know, Jennifer and I saw a lot of things that day, and it was pretty traumatic for sure. Um, so just to kind of walk through what I was doing, um, I was actually coming from church that morning, and I was going on my way home, and uh, it was raining a lot. Like you said, it was very rainy, and uh, and I remember I remember you your car driving in front of me, and I was probably like a car or so a length behind you. And that uh, that stretch of road is kind of dicey because yeah. it's uh, kind of turns all which direction, and the road was slick. And I remember seeing your car, and I remember uh, it had lost traction and kind of fishtailed. And um, you know, I'm at that point, there's nothing you can really do about it but just hold on. And I saw your car go into the opposing lane. And, um, and I saw an SUV uh, that was right in front of you and pretty much just instant collision. And it was a big collision. I mean, the force involved in that, I mean, it was a, like a family size SUV. And immediately, I just remember thinking like, oh no, like this is bad. I just remember just the violence of it um, and I pulled over and kind of, it's interesting because you're kind of in citizen mode. You know, I'm just driving along and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, get in cop mode and assess and see who needs help, what's going on. And so I immediately pulled over, I, I bolt out of my car and I run to the scene. At this point, no one's out there. It's just your car. And my first inclination was that you were inside your car. So I went over to the driver's side door, the windows were shattered, the car was pr like mangled, and it was really difficult to see inside the car. And I remember the door, grabbing the door handle and yanking on it to try to get it open to see who was inside. And I was able to kind of pry the door open and I look in there and there's no one in there. And I was like, just confused for a second. I was like, where is it? Who is in here? And um, the, the car was kind of obstructing my vision on the other side, so I ran around the other side. And I mean, to this day, I just remember seeing you. And I, um, just how alone you were. And that I wanted to be with you. You looked very helpless and it was raining, and I remember the smells of the radiator fluid and the engine fluid everywhere, and just glass and just destruction. And um, I remember getting to you, and I didn't think you were alive. I, I mean, I didn't. And, um, but I know with my training, you know, you don't give up until, you know, until it's over. And, you know, it was, it had just happened, and if there was a chance, there was a chance. And so I remember immediately I just started CPR, you know, and my thought was, I'm going to keep her heart pumping. Whatever happened to her, I'm just going to keep her heart pumping. I'm going to keep blood going through her body until the fire department get there and they take over. And then my friend Jennifer <laughs> comes sliding in like a hero, um, literally slid in there. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't know if we just recognized it immediately, but I'm off duty. Yeah, I'm off duty too. We're both law enforcement. Okay, yeah. let's do this. We just got to work. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she was very nurturing, you know, just I remember her talking with you. It's going to be okay. You're going to make it. And um, as we're working on you, I remember her saying, I think I hear breathing. Um, I, I, or she's moving or there's the, like life came to you all of a sudden. And... And she was like, okay, let's pause for a second. Let's turn her to her side because I think you were struggling trying to get air in. And, um, and we turned you over to your side and it didn't seem like it was that long after until the fire department got there. And I remember you were making some noises, like you were like fighting for life. And, um, and you know, it was just, then it's like on with your day kind of thing. You know, like you went, I didn't know who you were. I didn't know what happened with you. 
You know, I remember going home and I had, you know, I had engine fluid on my shoes. I think there was a little blood on my pants and, you know, just was like in silence for a while, just thinking about what had just happened and just praying for you and wondering, you know, how you were doing. And um, it was really cool to be able to meet you and see you and the beautiful human being that you are. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I am and, and Jay is from um, was working for the uh, Sacramento Sheriff's Department at the time. He is now with the uh, City of Rancho Cordova Police Department. City of Rancho Cordova Police Department. Sorry, microphones. All right, Jennifer, you you might have a story too, right? And you're from Elk Grove Police Elk Department. Grove Police yes. Um, I remember that day very clearly too. It's still every time I drive through that intersection, I remember everything. Um, I remember that day, yes, it was raining, pouring, and my daughters talked me into going to Dutch Bros that morning. So we were on our way back, and the accident had just happened, and I just saw you laying there in the street all by yourself, and then I saw Jay running over, and I told my girls, I said, I need to stop and help. And there wasn't even a question in my mind. I just pulled over, and I ran, and I did slip and make <laughs> a very nice graceful um <laughs> you know entrance um and we just got to work and it was very scary i mean i've been in law enforcement over 20 years and that was probably one of the hardest things i've seen and you looked like you were in very bad shape so we just did everything we could um just to be with you and to help you and you look amazing <laughs> i'm thank just you. so thankful thank you we have finally got to meet you i know this last couple of years with COVID and everything we couldn't connect but just thank you chief too for setting yeah. this up i mean i told him the story and <sighs> i was like i can't i don't know how to reach out to them it's really yeah. hard because my emails would bounce or and we tried yeah. to meet up a couple yes. of times and you're busy, <laughs> and that's that's a good thing. You're <laughs> protecting us. Um, so I, I just I hadn't given up. I was like, I will find a way. I yes. told my sister, let's just surprise them with a <laughs> gift basket. Um, we just hadn't figured out how to do it and locate you. So yeah. Sheldon came into play. I was like, Sheldon, you. you know everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very yeah. easy because I'm actually a bomb tech with uh, Jennifer's husband, Tom. And so Small one world. phone call, I got a hold of both of them. That was it. Wow. That's how quick it was. So it was it made it very easy. So I'm 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 glad everything worked out okay, because I mean it's just kind of a, a miracle how the connection worked through all of you guys. Um, and you came together at that time and spot and here we are today to celebrate it. Yeah. So yeah. with that, let's have some more celebration. Uh, the parents would like to give you some awards if you wouldn't mind. Oh. Do you mind? Do you want to? Yeah. Actually, the I'll, first I'll thing I'd like to thank yeah. both of you. Yeah. Uh, we give birth to our daughter, but you gave the life. And I really said from my heart, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to get the awards? And we wanted to present you from our community. Um, my parents and our family are part of Onkur, which is um, it's a Bengali association and Northern Indian Association. And you know, you guys help us all the time, so we wanted to present you with some plaques. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you this so much. It's thank beautiful. you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, we appreciate wow. everything you do. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> I, just, I, remember, I just got my hair done <laughs> like a couple of days prior to. Um, I do remember that I. Uh, might have sassed one of the EMTs about pulling on my freshly dyed blue oh. hair <laughs> at the time. So, yeah, I came back with a vengeance. Yeah. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
Thank you. And not to say there's not much more left, but we have more. Um, we have some awards also from the Governor's Office of Emergency Services uh, presented to both Jay. Thank you very much. You're going to have you, a hands sir. shaking in my hands too. <laughs> Congratulations, thank sir, you, sir, from the Governor's Office. And also for Jennifer. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much for thank all you, you did. This is a, a small token for really what you did off duty. Uh, amazing and the amazing rewards we have here um, to, to do it. It's just, it's so special. Thank so. you. Thank you. All right. With that, any other special words? I just thank you so much. Yeah, that's, that's, I, can't, I can't say that enough. Um, I will say, like I said, came back with a vengeance. Um, I too am now trying to save the world from a public health perspective. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I had so many things and none of them were done. So Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And also thank you from our dog. Yes. He gets too excited in small places. He's a big boy. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Just wanted to say thank you from the entire family. Thank you so much. We're glad we're here. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. Well. <laughs> and, and thank you everybody for attending. Uh, this will end the session, and I think the uh, celebration will continue on as we move forward. But thank you.